Hi, welcome to Compton Shenanigans. Today we're going to be working on Old Blue. Old Blue is right here. And what we're going to be doing for it today is we're going to be getting it ready to ride for the season. So, yeah, got a lot of work ahead of us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, contribute to the Patreon. That way, year's goal stop everything before it breaks best we can but they're yard carts they're gonna break and that's fine but we're gonna try to minimize it this year and I'm gonna take you with me while I go through you know maintenance before we go out and ride in case you can hear it in the background it's raining so uh Yeah, we're not going to ride today. So, still on time. We got, we, got, uh, we got other videos to do. So, with that, let's get started. To start with, we're going to disconnect the clutch, which is right there, and remove the chain, and then we're going to do some engine work. Disconnect this particular chain, it's 13 millimeter. And the end is going to turn with it, so I'm just going to kind of hold on to the back of the clutch. Alright, that. Right. That ain't going to work. Alright, I will pull the starter in enough to just engage it. That's not doing it either. Let's see if I'm going the wrong way with it. Eh. Right. I think I'm going to have to get a screwdriver back here to put some. Huh. See if I can't just stop the inside of the clutch from moving. There we go. There we go. There.
bolts off there. Clutches off there. Okay. Now that the motor, make sure you get everything off the uh, PTO side before you start up. <clears throat> All right. Now that it can't go anywhere, uh, we'll we got it leaning forward a little bit. Check the back end for oil. May or may not be time to change it. Didn't ride all that much last year. Get a flashlight. See how much we got in there. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna bring you in real close. See any oil? Yep. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can see it. There, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's oil. We were going to check it. Grab a paper towel, wad it up a little bit, stick it in there. We'll kind of look at it. It's still pretty light in color. You can see that. It's not dark at all. Oil's still in really good condition, so we're not going to change the oil this time around. This engine's already had its break in a long time ago, so. And for those who know Predator Motors, know this is a non-hemi. So, that's been on this cart since Old Orange took a, well, I didn't really take a dump, but eh, it wasn't running the greatest. Alright, well, let's check and see if we got fuel. Uh, we should have enough to start and let's get warmed up. And before we do, move you guys over to the fuel side. Uh, before we do, we're going to do the fuel cutoff, and then we're going to open this bowl up, check and see if that fuel is left on, so turn fuel off, off, and we'll crack this bowl open and see if we got anything in there, and with us. Ten fits a little loose. Ten it is. Yeah, I expect some fuel to come out. Don't smell good. Look at that. That still looks good. That still looks awesome. There's nothing wrong with that at all. No gel, no rust, no nothing. That looks excellent. The gas doesn't smell that good. But try to get that in all the same. That it was. All right. All right. Plug looks nice and solid. Wire looks good. 
mounting bolts look tight. Yeah, everything's tight. So we're safe to start this thing up. All right, fuel's back on. Choke's on. We're going to give it a couple pulls that fill back up with fuel. Should be good. Oh, we can get the hell. Make sure the kill switch is not on. Now I can't tell which one's which. Let that run for a couple minutes, warm up. Pick up all of our tools when we're done. And when it's kind of foggy in here, we'll get some more stuff. Alright, so we're inspecting the clutch and the chain now. That looks like it's got very little, if any, wear on it. So we'll just clean that up. A little shiny in the middle, but yeah, it looks yeah, it looks pretty good still. Brake shoes, yeah, a little hot. They're not really discolored though. We'll just clean those up with some uh, probably some. I don't know what that is. We do got some, some drift edge on one of these shoes right here. Kind of an edge to it where it wore down a little. Yeah, we'll clean that up with some sandpaper. Clean it up with some brake clean. And that'll be ready. Same thing with this. Hit it with a little bit of sandpaper on the inside. A little bit of brake clean. Get it oiled. It gets oiled right here. This gets oiled just on the outside. Nothing on the inside. Just enough to keep it nice and smooth. If this ever looks scored or pitted, it's because you didn't oil it enough. So lock up. You start it alone, it'll go flying. I inspect our number 30, I think. Roller chain. I'm going to go through and make sure all of these move freely. If they don't, like this one's a little bit, a little bit tough. Yeah, that one's a little tougher. I'll get some WD-40 or PB Blaster in there, free that up. Make sure that chain's going to move nice. I think it's where it's at. I think it's that off the cart on the concrete or it got dripped on or it got hot somebody forgot to oil it because that's not that bad <laughs>
now that the chain and the clutch is done, we're going to inspect both the rear hubs, bearings, make sure everything is, you know, not falling apart. And we do that by wiggling it. That, see that? It's got a lot of play in it. So that bearing is going to come out. We're going to replace it. And this side. Yeah. Doesn't really have any. So that bearing's good. On the other tire. That bearing's good. That bearing's good. So on the non-drive tire bearings, check out. Wipe them down. Grease them up a little bit. Get them back on. I just kind of smear grease kind of in that seam there and yeah I don't think you can grease them but I smear grease on them anyway just to make sure so I get that done this one's fine I'll grease it this is probably the hardest working bearing here I'll go ahead and unbolt all this get that bearing pulled out replace it with another one yeah I got it Another one laying around somewhere. Finally got the bearings in. Replacement bearings. No, it's not. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and, and reassemble. So take this back over here. Now the reason this oh reason that looks like it does because these bolts came loose. While we were riding, kind of wobbled the holes out. So I used different holes this year. If it happens again, I'm out of holes. All right, just real quick. We'll get these back on. It'll be the same thing for the front. Just basically inspecting the uh, welded on bolt for any kind of wear, grooves, anything that might mess it up. I always like to lube up my uh, washers so they don't create a whole bunch of heat. And then that heat, of course, go right into that bearing. We don't want that. And this one's already been checked. That's going to go on. And it's alright if it goes on a little dry. That's what bearings are for. Ooh. Got a 
lock washer all greased up ready to go start that all right now this one's a little bit different i got to put the chain in the uh clutch on same time i put that on so we'll look at this real quick check for any grooves any wear spots I'm not seeing any not feeling any so that's good threads look good brake i'll shoot that with some brake clean before we get riding <laughs> As you saw, I started up, once I got everything put together, I started up the motor, engine, and I let it run a little bit, warm the chain up, warm the chain up a whole lot, and then used oil. So I'm not going to run it today. I wanted to make sure that the chain was warm and then oiled. You notice how it kind of flung everything i don't know if you saw that or not but kind of flung everything i put in it but then you know maybe some of the rust maybe some of the rust and the other stuff come off too so um yeah run it ran it ran it got it hot uh painted it in oil used the used motor oil is fine uh that chain's not in the greatest shape it's got some rough spots in it and you probably saw some slack in it so um, I will probably put in 
if the chain ends up coming off, I'll probably end up putting in one of these. I made these in a previous video. Shims for the motor. Tightens the chain up a little. So here we got the front tires off, as you saw. And uh, I'm checking these for any kind of bearing slop. This has got a little bit, because these are the front tires, and they see a lot of abuse. This is the outside bearing. It sees the most abuse when you turn. Uh, there's a little bit in it. See that moving. But I think I'm going to just grease, because these are the front ones, this one's really good. This one's really good. Well, some slop. Well, they all have some slop, but they're not anywhere near worn. So I'm going to go ahead and grease these up. You notice that fell out. That's crazy. Yeah. So apparently, this was the lock washer for it. It's a little piece of wire. That didn't hold so well. So I'm going to replace it with uh, one of these good heavy duty ones I got. Make sure that doesn't come off there. I'll check these. Make sure they're tight. And then once, uh, once they all go back on, I'm going to throw some air in them. Make sure they're up to what they're supposed to be. Uh, and then, well, I mean, you'll see. Before we throw front tires back on, we're going to uh, lube up the steering, all the components for the steering, kind of clean those up, lube those up really good, and then we're going to throw everything back together. Especially this year. You see those? We used to put nuts and bolts in these, and then, well, they kept coming out, even the lock washers, little ones. They get worn through, they're so small. So I started using these, I really don't know what they're called. But I'm going to take a grinding disc. You probably saw the grinder on the table over there. And I'm going to kind of cut these things a little shorter. Uh, another goal this year was to put a spring on the brake pedal. It looks like I already got that done last year. So I guess I don't have to do that. Now I'll check all nuts and bolts throughout the whole go-kart. And you're going to... Oh, whoa, watch me get that done.
some of you saw on that last clip, there was a, a bearing with some black around the edge. That's a sealed bearing. There's no way, no way I can get grease into that. That's what I put in on the back. Also, the rubber around the outside is a sealed bearing. I can't get any grease in it, so I'm not going to worry about greasing it. Uh, all right, so the front wheels are back on. The steering is nice and tight. Um, the only thing left to do now is to go through front to back, make sure everything is as tight as it should be. Um, we're not going to ride it today. It's far, far too wet today to ride. Um, but I would say once I give it a once over, you know, it should be ready to go. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take my little cutoff wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off these feet, cut off these nubs, so they're not all sticking out and all weird looking. Um, and once I get done with that, I'm gonna kind of wipe the seat down a little bit, uh, just brake clean, and just kind of wipe everything down, make sure it's you know, clean enough, you know, to ride. And then it's gonna be on the, well, it's gonna be on the track modified track this year um the city put in some drains out there and uh their big machinery kind of sunk into the ground about a foot foot and a half so we had foot and foot and a half ruts uh around turn three which is our yeah that's where we where we get ready to go really fast you know that just now got planted and you know, we got to kind of wait at least, you know, a couple months before we get out there and tear the grass up. Because we don't want that grass to die right away. It's going to make it for a very squirrely turn. So, uh, we're going to do a short track this year. Uh, it's going to be basically just around this building. That's pretty much the only track we're going to ride. Uh, so, this is Old Blue. And uh, before we get into the grinding part, I want to share a story with you. So... For everybody that's held on to the video this long, you know, you deserve this. Um, so the story behind this cart is, uh, at the time, my wife didn't have a license, and I was talking to a guy at work who, you know, did go-karts. Him and his dad did go-karts many years. And I talked to him about, you know, do you need a, uh, a license, you know, to race go-karts? And he said, no. I said, well... I got somebody who's eager to drive at home, but can't. Maybe I'll buy her a go-kart. She should get into racing. Maybe she'll get into getting her license. Maybe she'll get in motivated to do other things. I got to tell you, she went pretty far. But the day we went to pick this up, we want to know if it runs. Sat for a couple years. We want to know if it was going to run. So... <coughs> There was no one on the cart. I had my hand on the breather. Oh, in fact, hold on a minute. I'll, I'll grab the motor. Come on. This is the motor that was on it. The part I had a hold of. Oh, I missed the table. All right. The part I had a hold of was this. It easily comes right off. That's all I had a hold of in the cart. We started up, about third pull, fired up, and took off. Ooh, yeah. Let me put this back. Yep, took off down the road. So we're sitting there watching that cart run on down the road. Kind of takes a slight right. Runs into the back tire of the truck. Just hits it head on. Boom! And it's bouncing bouncing off of it like what's up man yeah so we were able to catch up with it really quick because it did that and we were able to shut it down turns out throttle was stuck open uh we didn't know anything about cars we didn't know that if the throttle was stuck open it was it's gonna take off because that's a uh, typical clutch man so when the idle gets high enough when the rpms get high enough it locks in the wheel takes off so yeah, shortly after that, 
figured out what was the problem. She got on it. We made a rule. Never start these things without someone on them. Never start them without the drive tires off the ground if you are going to start it without somebody around. And I think that's a great tip because you never know. If that clutch is going to be locked up or not. You just never know. And you don't want to be chasing one of these down the road. They get up to about as geared 35 miles an hour. But I can't run 35 miles an hour. I don't think anybody can. So, yeah, just figured I'd share that story with you. And it was it was hilarious. Um, the motor I just showed you is going to be coming up in an upcoming video. It was uh, smoking real bad when we took it off. That's why we replaced it with the Predator. Yeah. Originally had a Hemi. Put a non-Hemi on it. The Hemi's sitting on the side right now. It's probably going gonna, gonna to get something. But anyway, I felt like I'd share that with you. I thought it was funny. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get down to grinding these things off. And uh, so if you haven't already, subscribe, like, share, donate. We get more projects like these done. Uh, ones that cost more money. We get done when we get more money. But um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're going to grind. We're going to grind these nubs off. ready to roll blue is cleaned up spiffed up safety checked bolt tight still gonna do it once before we ride out the back but uh yeah want well, thank everybody for watching following along at least to the end story time all that and we're gonna have some fun this year uh next one up black Oh yeah.